So in today's video, we're going to learn how to use Samsung's Galaxy AI to create custom wallpapers like this one right here. I think it's pretty cool stuff. A prerequisite for this though is that you do need to be on One UI version 6.1 to take advantage of these cool Galaxy AI features. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is pinch in on your home screen with two fingers. Wallpaper and style is where we want to go to and we're going to go to change wallpapers. We're going to scroll down just a little bit till we get to this creative section. All right, so we're going to look at both of these sections today. The first one is generative. So let's go ahead and go into there. All right, so what this does is this starts off with some basic themes to start with, kind of the backdrop, if you will. And it's kind of interesting that this top section here is basically the same as this bottom section. They just kind of repeat it in a different way. You see here we have painting and painting right down here. So let's go ahead and go into this. And what you're going to see here is some verbiage at the bottom, and three of these are tappable. You see how they're kind of outlined? So we can tap on each one of these. And this is going to allow us to adjust the main parameters for what they stand for. So a painting of a jungle. So instead of a jungle, we have a mountain, a canyon, a beach. So let's go ahead and pick beach. So it says a painting of a beach and nothing else in the Abbott grade style. So let's go ahead and pick nothing else. And I'm going to go ahead and add some spaceships. And let's go ahead and change a style. And we have all these other different styles to pick from here. So I will go ahead and pick this one here abstract and let's go ahead and tap generate let's see what options it presents us with so here we go samsung's galaxy ai has presented us with a few options that we can use based on these parameters that we picked and you just basically go through and pick out between your different styles and each one of these has their own little words that it throws up like here i'll show you we'll go into imaginary here or imagery i should say and you see here a surreal lamp made of flowers you get all these different options based upon which one of these themes or backdrops you pick. So it's pretty cool stuff. Now there is one little flaw with this though. I want you to look real close here in the bottom left corner. You see that? Let me get that up close to the screen there. There we go. Every time you use one of these generative wallpapers, it puts this little AI watermark down on the bottom left. You know, I get it for photos and videos because you're like letting people know that the photo or video has been touched up with AI. But for our own wallpapers, I mean, that kind of seems weird. But nonetheless, you're going to get that little watermark there. But you get a lot of really cool options as far as which wallpapers you can generate. And as you can see, this one here is quite colorful. So let's go into the other wallpaper option that we haven't looked at yet. So we'll go back into wallpapers and style, change wallpapers. We're going to go down here to creative again. And this time we have photo ambient. So we'll go ahead and go into there. And this time we're going to pick one of our own images. All right, so we got our image selected. We can go ahead and make some adjustments to our widgets and all that good stuff. And down here at the bottom, we have this information icon. And this lets you know that it takes a while for these changes to take effect. So the first time you implement this, it may take a good 24 hours or so before it notices all your time changes and picks up your weather and applies it to your photos. So let's go ahead and hit done here and we'll see what this looks like. All right, let's go ahead and fire it up. Here's our lock screen. Wow, look at that cool effect. Did you see that? Let's go ahead and do that one more time. All right, so we have these sun rays coming from the top right corner. And what's really cool is that this is dependent on the time of day. So here, let me show you some footage from earlier this morning at like 7.30. See how it's coming from the top left? And here's some footage around noontime. See how the sunshine is coming from like the middle? That is super awesome. So I think this is a pretty cool AI tool. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. Always do appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.